Guys, I just broke 100 subscribers. Boom! Big player on the YouTube scene. Jokes aside, I have uh, thought I'd take you guys through a video of my CO2 controller, which I've put in my um, fruiting room. Um, I've put this into, uh, obviously I want to automate my uh, fruiting room as much as possible, and CO2 one was one of the parameters which I was really unsure about. Um, so I've I've put a, a, a process controller in there and a, and a CO2 um, a probe, and now I've got it um, venting air every time the CO2 gets too high. So I'll take you through now and I'll, sh I'll show you just what I've done. So here is my CO2 controller. Um, as you can see, it's a it's an Omron uh, process controller mounted in a termination box, and inside there is a solid state relay and a, a heat sink on it. Um, now this controls the CO2 in the room, and what it does is when the CO2 gets too high, it starts flushing air out. You can see it's actually running now, so it's detecting 725 parts per million, and I've got it set at 700. So as soon as it goes above 700, it gets that fan on, and um, it starts dumping air out. Obviously it's got a power in, um, a power out which controls um, the fan that that pumps the air out and it's got a, um, this is a control line to the Dwyer um, CO2 probe which I've got which I'll take and show you now. So that runs down here, sorry there's a bit of loose wire in here so we haven't managed to tidy it all up, and that runs down to this device here which is a uh, a, a Dwyer uh, ventilation CO2 transmitter. I'll spin it just so you can have a look. So um, I actually found that on eBay second hand. Um, it hadn't been used before and it was a very good price. So that just runs a, a line back to um, back to the the process controller. It runs a, a uh, sorry a um, like a signal wire back to the process controller to detect how much um, CO2 is in there. Um, this here is, is actually, so this is mounted in a pipe which comes up to here and down to the bottom. This used to be my ventilation pipe, I used to bring it out here and vent it out here but I've actually got this new big one here. So there's a little fan in here, a waterproof fan, which is controlled just by this, this, this fan speed controller and meanwhile power supply behind it. And I can actually turn it up, you'll hear it. But I keep that on very low, and that slowly pushes air through this pipe, which which reads, which goes over the CO2 uh, probe transmitter, and it goes out and just vents it back into the room down here. Now, when the when the CO2 probe, when the CO2, when the PID, the process controller, detects too much CO2, it actually turns this fan on here, which also sucks out from the bottom, and so it sucks out from the bottom, and it blows it up and straight out there which vents it to outside. There's a second line coming in as well um, which comes from my air conditioner which is in there. Um, these have both got um, got butter, like butterfly valves on them so the, the air can't go backwards through them when one, one pipe's blowing. So um, the process controller receives a signal from this and when it gets too high it turns this on and it starts sucking air out of this room and pumping it outside. And obviously I control the speed of the air going over this um, by just this little fan speed controller behind it. Now the only problem I've got is that 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 um, that uh, that CO2 uh, transmitter is 24 volt, and most of my power supplies around here I'm running a 12 volt. Um, and the only 20 volt one I had, which I accidentally bought 24 volt LED strips, so I've got a 24 volt in here. And so I'm actually you can see that's the power cable for it coming in there. This is um, Normally I have my lights in there to turn the LED strips on above the each grow rack um, and I connect this usually to my um, timer but because I'm running the, the, the CO2 probe and I want that probe going 24-7 I've actually taken all the lights off of this and I'm just using the 24 volt power supply in here. Um, I've got another one 24 volt coming for the, the, um, for the uh, transmitter and I'll mount it down there and we'll get we'll free up this for the lights. So you can see here it's pulling the CO2 down and it does it pretty well. Um, it's down to 709 so in a, in a few more minutes that'll be down under 700. Um, I usually don't, I've just put a whole pile of blocks in there yesterday so I'd actually, you actually do notice it, a lot more CO2 with um, 
with a lot more blocks in there. Um, I've got another vent which comes out, which is from an air conditioner in there, um, which that actually sends air out as well, so that refreshes the air in there when that needs to run. Um, I've got it set to 16 degrees up here and it's only 14.4, so that's not actually on. But I'll take it inside. So you can see um, this is inside the grow room. So all that CO2 is just being created by a few shiitake blocks here, a couple of racks of shiitake there, and these oyster bags which are, um, have just been put in. A lot of these have been put in yesterday. Um, but down here, so up there there's the fan which is, which is pushing air over the CO2 controller. And that's just constantly going, that's a waterproof IP68 fan. And down here, that's the, where the vent where it sucks the air out. And that there is the air that's getting pushed back in from that fan, that one on the right. So that the air coming through there has already been run over the, um, the CO2 transmitter. So you can see now it's gone under 269, it's at 269 parts per million, under that 700 mark and it has turned off. Um, I've got it set for 700 at the moment. Um, I'm just seeing how it goes on 700. I assume it's going to stay around that sort of 700 mark when there's a lot of blocks in there. Um, I might decrease that um, down. We'll see how we go though. So that is the, uh, the CO2 controller uh, uh, operating and how I have it set up. Um, it's doing a really nice job at the moment. Um, I'm really happy with it. Uh, when you get a lot of blocks in there, obviously the, the CO2 gets quite high. Um, um, I do, because of my air conditioner in there, the air conditioner actually splits here and pumps half of it out, the cold air out, and keeps the warm air in there. Um, so during nights, this doesn't really get used. The more the air conditioner turns on, the less that's needed, the less this is needed, because of course fresh air gets sucked in by the air conditioner. Um, but during the day when that air conditioner is not being really on because of the temperatures here at the moment, um, this just obviously comes on. It turns on at about 720 and turns off at about sort of 680. Um, so I, I'm really happy with it. Um, obviously I still need to um, just uh, get that power supply for it sorted. I've already ordered the new power supply so that's on the way. Hey guys, if you like my channel, uh, please subscribe. It helps me out knowing you guys are interested and uh, keen to see just what I'm up to.